viewers, welcome to the new info. Kindly like, comment, and share videos with friends and loved ones. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave the notification bell for more news updates. First, the news headlines. Immigration CG Nanda orders investigation of the alleged assault of journalists. Nigerian Zambia women still find their Olympic Games sports. NCDC commences investigation as Sokoto reports 164 cases of strange disease. Now, the news in full. Immigration CG Nanda orders investigation of alleged assaults on journalists. The Nigeria Immigration Service, NIS, has ordered an investigation into the alleged assault of a journalist, Sean Falomo, and personnel of the Oyo State Road Traffic Management Agency by some immigration officers. The NIS Controller General, Kemi Nanda, gave the order in a statement by the Service Public Relations Officer, Mr. Kenneth Udo, on Wednesday in Abuja. Nanda said the service will not hesitate to sanction any of its officers who floated the law and code of conduct. The news agency of Nigeria reports that a news report had been circulating, alleging that some immigration officers assaulted personnel of the Ohio State Road Traffic Management Agency and one Sean Falomo, a journalist with Dallas Television. NAN also gathered that the incident's report promptly forwarded from Zone F headquarters of NRS in Ibadan, Ohio State where the incident occurred, indicated that personnel of the Ohio State Road Traffic Management Agency alleged caught a retired assistant controller of immigration, AC High, who had violated traffic crews at only Pepeye area, Old Ife Road. As the personnel tried to arrest him, the latter, who wanted to explain himself, was assaulted, leading to his son, who was driving his car, sustaining a fractured leg. Nigeria and Zambia women still find out on Wimpy Game Sports. Nigeria boss Randy Waldron had warned that his side must prepare professionally to be able to challenge for a medal at the 2024 Olympic Games Women's Football Tournament. The Super Falcons and Zambia booked their places in Paris as African qualifying culminated on Tuesday. Nigeria, ranked 36th in the world, will return to the Olympics for the first time since 2008. Now, my plea and challenge is to the Minister of Sports and to the Federation to help us prepare properly, Waldron said. The West Africans qualified after securing a goalless draw away against South Africa in Pretoria, progressing 1-0 on aggregates, thanks to Rashidas Ajibade's win in the first leg. The Super Falcons will face World Cup holders, Spain, former world champions Japan and Brazil in Group C in Paris. NCDC commences investigation as Sokoto reports 164 cases of strange disease. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has launched an investigation into a mysterious illness that has surfaced in the eastern local government area of Sokoto State. According to Gide Idris, the Director General of the NCDC, the strange illness was first reported to the agency on March 24, 2024. While speaking with journalists, Idris said the illness is characterized by symptoms such as abdominal distension, fever, vomiting and weight loss, primarily affected children aged 4 to 13, as well as some adults. He stated that a National Rapid Response Team, NRRT, has been deployed by the NCDC to collaborate with the State Ministry of Health in investigating the matter. He stated that although initial clinical assessments have ruled out infectious origins, investigations are ongoing, including heavy metal testing. The NCDC DG encouraged vigilance within affected areas and appealed for prompt reporting of symptoms to healthcare facilities or designated authorities. Some other top news headlines. Better Edu threatens BBC with lawsuits and demands $50 million compensation. Ed El Fitur ensure peaceful coexistence. Kogi Governor urges Muslims. Whether reopening will cripple Nigeria's economy. Rep ones. That is all on the news. Can you like and hit the subscribe button for more news updates? See you tomorrow. Thank you.